Greetings, wise ones, and welcome back to the 8th House Wisdom channel. I'm Melissa of 8th House Wisdom, author, psychotherapist, astrologer, feminine energy, and stellar planning expert. I'm back today with your cosmic compass in the journey of self-discovery and personal growth through retrograde season 2023. With our stellar planning lens, tracking the astral weather, we're going to dive into understanding the energies of Jupiter retrograde in Taurus and discussing eight ways to not just survive, but thrive this astrological transit, especially since we have a lineup of six planets in retrograde motion. So stay tuned if you want to learn more about how to thrive for the next four months. And don't forget to like this video for the YouTube algorithm and to subscribe to this channel for more stellar planning and astro weather updates. talking about the final planet to join retrograde season 2023 and that is Jupiter which is now retrograding in Taurus. This cosmic phenomenon happens once a year and it offers us a rare opportunity to tap into the energies of expansion and higher learning in its opposite form. The mighty planet of Jupiter is known for its benevolence, its focus on travel, publishing, higher learning, and an overall sense of joy. When it embarks on a backwards dance in the steadfast sign of Taurus, it's a universal invitation to pause reflect and realign those aspects of our lives with our deepest values and desires. Jupiter is a planet that relates to our journey of self-discovery and personal growth, as those are factors of expanding in our human essence and being. In the earth sign of Taurus, which represents personal possessions, wealth, money, and our values, this retrograde prompts us to scrutinize our relationship with material wealth, stability, and self-worth. It's a great time to reassess your financial plans, cultivate a deeper sense of self-esteem, and make sure that you are really aligned in thought and action with your true values. Because retrograde energy turns us inward, you may experience slower external growth during this period. So it's an optimal time to use the more introspective energy and the Taurus sign influence to be a builder and to create stronger foundations for lasting abundance and personal empowerment. Taurus is also a sign that is known for its epic patience and slow movement. So think about applying that to any inner reflections as it will help you to lay strong groundwork for a more prosperous, aligned and authentic future once we come out of this retrograde period. Jupiter retrograde appeared to switch places with Venus retrograde in Leo, which ended on September 4th, creating a space for Jupiter to come in to the retrograde lineup. And this journey will continue until December 31st. So we have about a four month period 
to really reflect and take the information contained in this video and put it to good use. As a wise one, know that I want you to do more than just survive the retrograde. I want you to thrive, flourish, and bloom like the most vibrant springtime flowers, especially with Taurus being a spring season sign. So, we are going to unravel eight profound ways to not only weather this retrograde energy, but to learn how to ride its waves towards personal empowerment and growth in the most practical and physical senses possible. So make sure to grab your notebooks and a cup of tea and let's get into the eight ways that you can thrive doing just what a Jupiter retrograde asks us to do. Expand inward and with the Taurus influence to really focus on what matters most in our lives. Starting with number one, reassess your values. It's really a good time to take a close look at what truly matters to you in life right now. We're in the third quarter of this year and you have had a lot of time to assess what 2023 has been about for you and to have a good sense of what you might want to change as it relates to your values. And if you don't, just take a look at what area of your life feels most uncomfortable for a hint. Is it your material wealth? Is it your emotional well-being? What about your spiritual growth? Jupiter retrograde in Taurus asks you to get clear on and then align your true values with your physical actions and demands that you make any necessary adjustments in order to tap into the positive aspects of expansion that Jupiter can offer. Number two, financial planning. Review your financial plans. Don't make any new financial moves. Now is not the time. Taurus energy is all about money, foundations, and stability. So the retrograde energy combined with the Taurus sign is asking us to reevaluate our budgets, our savings or opportunity funds, and where our investments are. You wanna make sure that your financial goals and habits are in sync with your long-term dreams so that when Jupiter goes direct, the expansion and release will allow you to fill into the areas that matter the most. That leads to number three, self-worth work. This is an ongoing job, but this retrograde can highlight the need for us to do self-reflection. Taurus being a sign that rules what we value. Oftentimes we are thinking about our personal possessions and objects which are other things that fall under Taurus purview. But what about what we value within ourselves, the somewhat intangible? Are we our own best friend or are we our most vicious inner critic? It's important to identify any limiting beliefs or self-doubt that might be holding you back from fully expanding into who you are meant to be. So use the next four months to focus on building your confidence and improving on your positive self-image to truly reap the benefits of Jupiter's forward motion as we enter into 2024. Number four, self-care and sensuality. Taurus is an earth sign that is associated with all things luxury and sensual. And that has very different meanings to people. But at its most basic level, self-care and sensual indulgence, and by that I mean things that smell good, touch good, look good, feel good, and sound good, 
become absolutely essential when going through a transit such as this. So give yourself permission to pamper you with massages, delicious meals, quality relaxation, taking in art, listening to good music, frolicking in grassy areas, touching and connecting with the earth. The more you connect with your senses and nurture your physical well-being, the greater your understanding and feedback loop will be during this particular retrograde period. Number five, grounding practices. Whenever we are dealing with retrograde energy, we want to ground. Then when thinking about an earth sign, it becomes an absolute requirement. Now is the time to check in with your grounding practices or to incorporate new ones into your routine. Engage in activities like gardening, flower arrangement, gentle flowing movements, guided meditation, walking meditation. Anything that helps you stay rooted and balanced will be of great support in making it through this earthy retrograde. Number six, simplify your life. Tourists may love fine things and indulgence, but it also likes simplicity. So check out your physical environment and your possessions and look to donate items you no longer need to create a vacuum that fosters not only tranquility and abundance, but is ready to receive when Jupiter goes direct and expansion in that area opens back up. Number seven, set realistic goals. Now is the time to curtail our Jupiterian tendency to reach for the highest peak and the furthest star. There's always a time and a place for that, but given the Taurus energy and the retrograde energy, it is best to aim for reasonable, practical, and attainable goals and milestones. It's also a good time to put in the adage of the tortoise, slow and steady wins the race, or at least leads to the kind of progress that can put you firmly in the successful area you want to be in. So utilize these four months of this retrograde to figure out how that would work best for you in your life. And last but not least, number eight, pa practice patience and persistence. Taurus energy is so kind, patient, and persistent. This is what you would describe as being bullish, especially in the financial sectors. Jupiter retrograde slows down external growth. And it can be a bit of a mind screw because the plans you had to go far or to have things further may seem like they're creeping to a halt. But that's just because instead of external growth in the moment, we have been primed for the next four months to have all that we need to experience profound and rapid inner growth and development. So if you can stay connected to that idea and trust that the process must be mirrored, so within and without, just like so above and below, then when this energy goes direct, you will have created the appropriate container for your desires to fill in, thanks to employing patience and persistence. And so there you have it, wise ones. These are my eight ways to thrive during Jupiter retrograde in Taurus. Remember that astrology first and foremost is a system for telling time and orienting ourselves in time and space and season. It's also a powerful tool for self-awareness and personal growth. These are the backbones of my stellar planning process. So I encourage you to embrace this period as an opportunity to get aligned with your core values, your true desires, and as an opportunity to create a more stable and abundant life 
in the most practical and luxurious ways possible. I thank you for joining us today on the Ace House Wisdom Channel. Remember that life does come with an instruction manual. It is written in the stars. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with anyone who could use this insight. Until next time, stay grounded and keep thriving. Bye for now. To apply the information in this video, click the link below to get a free copy of your birth chart. Understand your planetary placements and get your planet positions at birth so you know where all the signs are in your chart. Discover the keys to your life's path and purpose by reading the stars with a free personal astrology report sample from 8th House Wisdom. From obstacles to opportunities, these reports teach you what you need to know to thrive. Try out any of these eight types of astrology reports, two multi-package reports, and one tarot reading in the 8th House Wisdom Astro Report store before you buy them. They're available for immediate download and specific to you, your life, and your unique birth information. Self-care isn't selfish. It's absolutely necessary for a soft life. Click the link below to get my free top seven beauty therapy and self-care tips and the beauty therapy checklist. Learn to manifest by the moon with my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula. It helps women stay in tune with feminine energy and manifest a life that feels as good as it looks. The 2023 edition comes with a bonus moon calendar and important dates. Click the link in the description below. Get more out of your beauty treatments and self-care by aligning them with the moon's mood and phase. In my astrology ebook, The Lunar Wisdom Formula for Beauty and Self-Care. This guide does all the hard work for you so you can get greater benefits from your self-care and live a softer life by the moon. Link in the description below. Introducing our newest book, Guide to Herbal Remedies, packed with information on how to use herbs and plants to promote health and well-being. The guide includes detailed information on a wide range of herbs and their healing properties, as well as recipes for teas, tinctures, and other remedies you can make at home. Whether you're looking to boost your immune system, reduce stress and anxiety, or treat common ailments, this guide has everything you need to get started with natural healing. Join us as we explore the world of herbal remedies and discover how you can use the power of plants to support your health and well-being. Plus, two bonus items for getting herbal tools and using herbs to smudge so you can round out your herbal med medicine cabinet and toolkit. Crystals are a fantastic tool to harmonize and ground your energy. Use my coupon code 8th House Wisdom for 11% off high quality ethically sourced crystals. Click the link in the description below to shop today. Triple your blessings and manifestations this year by downloading a free copy of the 2023 Stellar Year Blueprint. It's my formula for applying astrology to align your life to the natural cycles 
for greater ease and grace. Click the link in the description below to download yours today. Get an in-depth look at the astrology of 2023 and more information about my stellar planning process with this free workshop. Triple your new year manifestations with astrology. Click the link in the description below to watch now. Go deep in the astrology for 2023 and set the tone for how you want to feel this year with the 2023 Stellar Year Blueprint with Free and Clear and the Desire Map. Get in-depth information on my stellar planning process plus 19 multimedia lessons, a workbook, tools, and resources to really have a stellar 2023. Use the link in the description or go to thewisdombeacon.com. Remember, wise ones, life does come with an instruction manual. It's written in the stars. Please like, share, and comment on this video. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Sending you so much light and love. Take care.